Hi everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. So for today's video, I would like to share with you how to create this adorable doily wreath. I am so excited to be crafting for Valentine's Day with you all. I love doilies, they are so classic and so beautiful. If you saw my Dollar Tree haul that I shared just a few days ago, you saw that I picked up a few of them in different colors. For today's project, I chose to use all white. I feel like the white gives it almost like a lace type look. Dollar Tree also has these doilies in pink and red. You will also need a wreath form which can usually be found in the floral section. To be quite honest, this project was a bit of trial and error for me. I found the original inspiration on Pinterest. I tried to follow the instructions as they were posted in the pin on the vlog and I just really struggled with it and it really wasn't working out for me. So I decided to do it in a way that works for me. I will make sure to link the original post below so that you can see how she did it. The way that I did it versus the way that she did it are slightly different and they give a different effect. But do make sure that you go check out her post about it. Her wreath is so beautiful. You guys will absolutely love it. But let me share with you how I did it. Okay, so what I decided to do was simply take the heart-shaped doily and fold it in half. Then once I've folded it in half, I open it back up again and then I fold the sides of the heart in on itself, so almost like folding it into quarters. It's almost like you're making the heart into like a triangle shape and it just makes the piece a little bit more narrow so that it doesn't take up as much space on the wreath form. By folding the paper together and folding the doily in on itself, when you start to layer the pieces onto the wreath, it's going to make a much fuller looking wreath. So it's sort of adding like a different dimension to the piece and a little bit more fullness. So you're just going to repeat those steps over and over and over again for as many doilies as you want to use for your wreath. I believe that I used three packs, which definitely includes some of the mistakes that I made trying it the first way for a while. So make as many as you want. The more you have, the bigger your wreath will look, so it's really up to you. I chose to do a lot. Now it's time to start attaching the doilies to the wreath. You're going to start by taking that pointed end and putting it through the hoop that's on the outside and then folding it in on itself and figuring out how far you want your doily to stick out. Once you figure out how far you want it and how large you want the wreath, put a little bit of glue on the tip of the doily and then you're going to just attach it to itself. Now the other thing that I noticed was that if you don't glue it to the actual wreath, it's going to slide around a lot. So then I just put a little bit of glue onto the wreath form and then then I slid the doily onto it and attached it just so that it wouldn't be sliding around at all. So you're going to repeat the process with the next doily, but this time you're going to overlap it over that first one that you did. Now I sometimes would glue the doily to the one next to it, but you definitely don't have to. As long as you're gluing it to the wreath, it should be fine and it shouldn't really move around a whole lot. I also have found that you can probably fit between four or five in this outside section. The closer you overlap, the bigger your wreath is going to look and the more layered it's going to look, but typically you can fit between four or five. I think I went back and forth between those two different numbers on this outside loop. You are then going to repeat this process along the entire outside loop of this wreath form. Definitely listen to a YouTube video or a podcast or listen to music while you're working on this. It is one of those relaxing projects where you can sort of just work on it and you won't even realize how much time has passed. I really, really enjoyed working with these doilies for this project. When you attach the final doily in each of the different rows, you're going to want to put the one side underneath and then the other side above. So one side of the doily is going to be underneath the one next to it and the other side is going to be above the one next to it, just so that you continue that pattern. Now you're going to complete the same layering process for the next row. I liked using three on this row. I thought that it made it look really full and I really liked the layered look of this. One thing you're going to have to think about is how much shorter you want that next row to be than the first one. I think that you need to make it a significant amount shorter because it's going to give it that layered look.
For the final loop that's on the inside of the wreath, I decided to go all the way to the inside loop because I felt like it looked really pretty sort of laying over top of all of them. You could definitely add another layer to that third loop that's inside of the wreath, but I really liked the way that it looked laying on top of all of them, and I could also add glue to it to both of the inside loops so that it would really, really stay on there pretty well. So that's what I decided to do, but you could definitely make this four layers and it would just make the wreath look that much bigger. And for the inside loop, I was able to get two doilies next to each other. As a final touch, I decided to add some of these white roses from Dollar Tree. I think they're really pretty and I really like how they look with the doilies. So I pretty much just popped them off of the stems and then I just glued them around the outside. You could do so many different things with this. You could add some green, you could add some pink and red for Valentine's Day. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I made this doily wreath made out of products from Dollar Tree. It was so easy to do and I think that it looks absolutely beautiful. The doilies look like lace. I feel like if you look at it even up close, it really looks like lace. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!